Yes. Hello, everyone. Like. Cool. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sota Watanabe, founder of Asta Network, and thank you very much for joining today. And we have uh, Martin and Lance. So could you introduce yourself? Yes, let me start. Hi, everybody. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. So hi, my name is Martin. I'm the head of ecosystem development. I'm glad to be here on the on this podcast. So thank you, guys. Good morning, good night, everybody. My name is Rams. I'm the community growth lead here at Astar Network. I'm happy to be here today in our last crowdcast of the year. And hopefully we all learn some new things about Astar and some uh, celebrate some of the old things. Happy to be here. Awesome. Awesome. So actually the, the crowdcast updated the UI and the UX. So this is our first time to use the new UX. So probably uh, there might be a mistake, but uh, it should be okay. Um, and today I'm going to speak about our achievements in 2022 and what's coming in 2023. And we're going to include uh, some of the announcements during my presentation. So let me share my screen. Uh, cool. Can you see my screen? Martin and Ramos, yes. can you see okay. my screen? Yes. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, so this is a topic we are going to cover today. So I'm going to share about, uh, our achievements in 2022 and our strategy in 2023, and we are going to release new website in the Asta's roadmap and which is star called star map. And after that, we're going to have a Q and A. So if you have any question, feel free to ask us on Crowdcast. So let's go. Uh, we're going to cover the achievements. Uh, our ecosystem is getting bigger and bigger, and we are super excited to have a lot of the people and a lot of the wallets address. The wallets means the, the address which has balance. And today we have a more than 470K, thousand thousand uh, addresses on a star. And I think this is the biggest number in the Polkadot ecosystem. So yeah, super excited to see the community expansion. And second one is the number of the transaction. And we do have uh, 6,300,000 transaction today, uh, which is also the highest number of the transaction in the Polkadot ecosystem, which means a lot of the people are using a star network. And we do have roughly 20 device and also more than uh, 20 NFT projects right now. So in coming months, we're going to keep expanding our ecosystem and try to bring big enterprises to Asta Network. Yeah, uh, this is also our achievements. Uh, recently, we have already deployed a DAP staking version to portal. So our UI and the UX became much better right now. Uh, and we did this a Swanky version one. Uh, Swanky is all in one tooling for WebAssembly smart contract. And I think WebAssembly is the future of the smart contract, as Gavin said, but uh, EVM is important right now. So we are supporting EVM and we are going to support WebAssembly in quarter one, if everything goes well. And then we're gonna support WebAssembly and the EVM and make them by, uh, interactive. And XVM SDK is announced during the Sub-Zero Summit uh, last week, I think two weeks, two weeks ago. And XVM stands for cross virtual machine. So we're going to have uh, EVM and also WebAssembly. And people can deploy smart contracts on EVM, and people can deploy smart contracts on WebAssembly. And people can call uh, EVM smart contract from WebAssembly environment. And WebAssembly smart contract from EVM environment. This is called XVM. Uh, I think this is a little bit technical. So I would like to, you know, use analogy. Um, EVM is a uh, Windows because a lot of the people are using Windows, but uh, technically Mac OS is more sophisticated, right? So Mac OS is WebAssembly. Everyone is using web EVM. But uh, WebAssembly is more sophisticated 
than EVM. So what we would like to do is to support not only Windows OS, but also Mac OS. So right now in a Polkadot ecosystem, uh, smart contract parachain support EVM. But uh, what actually we are doing is uh, making EVM environment on the top of WebAssembly. So if I use, you know, Mac OS Windows example, so what we are doing right now is making Windows environment on the top of Mac OS, and then, you know, using application on the top of Windows environment. So this is very inefficient. So what we have to do is to create a WebAssembly environment in a Polkadot ecosystem so that, uh, you know, people can deploy WebAssembly more efficient, more sophisticated smart contract on Astar. And the great thing is uh, a lot of the languages can be compiled to WebAssembly environment. So if we support WebAssembly, uh, people can write Last-based smart contract or Go-based smart contract or maybe JavaScript, TypeScript, and so on. So this is the reason why we are very bullish about WebAssembly. And light client. A light client is super important um, because you know you don't need to learn full nodes to participate in an Asta network to interact with Asta network blockchain. So this is really needed for more decentralized network. Uh, and also Inc. Inc. is the smart contract language uh, made by Parity, and this is very similar to Rust, uh, Rust language. So um, Limac, which is a NFT standard in Inc will be deployed on Asta in December. And, you know, we are still 10 months or 11 months baby, but, uh, you know, we have already supported XCM, um, Swanky, Dubs taking portal version two, XVM, Light Clients, Dimark, and so on. So, you know, uh, our team is getting bigger and bigger, but the uh, network is getting more efficient and efficient right now. And we also announced the Shiden DAO. Shiden DAO. So Asta is going to be a decentralized autonomous organization. So Shiden is the environment to test it out. Um, and the, today we are going to release new web page. And Lamzi is going to explain what's coming next. And uh, this is the, the featured updates. Uh, Candy Girl was very successful. So Candy Gallery is the, the content made by Yoshitaka Amano. He is the, the creator, designer of the Final Fantasy. And the, since he is very legend in Japan, um, I'm also speaking with a legendary artist and people uh, in Japan. And because Candy Gallery is very successful, I think other IP will be following. And by the end of 2023, we would like to invite a lot of the, you know, great Japanese IP, like manga, anime, and so on. And yeah, Alchemy supported Astar as the first Polkadot parachain, to, which is also huge. And do not forget our partnership with NTT Docomo. Uh, NTT Docomo is the largest mobile operator in Japan. Uh, actually, the thirty percent of the Japanese people are using uh, NFT NTT Docomo, and they announced four billion investment into Web three. So we are going to create Web three use cases together with Docomo, uh, and this is the 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 you know the first partnership with the big Japanese enterprise. But uh, I'm speak also speaking with really big enterprises in Japan. And the, I think something can be announced in uh, one or two months if everything goes well. So this is really, you know, uh, I'm super glad to work with the big enterprises, especially in Japan. Um, also, uh, we also had a you know partnership with uh, local cities of Japan, that government, local government, like Fukuoka prefecture or Sendai prefecture. So we would like to make a uh, you know, huge impact from Japan. So my plan in 2023 is to make the, the layer one blockchain backed by Japan. 
But 2024, by leveraging our presence in Japan, we're going to create strong presence in the US and in the Europe. Yep, uh, 2023 strategies. Uh, there are a lot. But uh, the important thing is WebAssembly smart contract. So once we support WebAssembly smart contract, we can support not only you know, we can support not only Ethereum project, but also more Polkadot general you know, native project. And we can support you know, Solana-based project and Nia-based project and so on. So that's why we are super excited to support WebAssembly. In, uh XCM, XVM. Uh, XCM is really important for the Polkadot ecosystem because without XCM, I mean, interaction with other parachains, um, you know, Asta's capability is pretty limited. So we have to push XCM and XVM in the Polkadot ecosystem. And uh, regarding, regarding uh, WebAssembly and the XCM, the, I think Polkadot, in, in a Polkadot ecosystem, smart contract parachains are leading the ecosystem, like Moonbeam or Asta or you know, other chains. But the problem is 100% of the application on the top of Asta or Moonbeam are EVM. So in this sense, we are reproducing something which Ethereum can do, right? So we have to make something unique, which only Polkadot can do, or which only Asta can do. And this is the reason WebAssembly and XCM are uh, really important for us. So in 2023, especially Q1 and Q2, we would like to make you know, very unique use cases, which only Asta network can do. Uh, second one, the third one is Japan. So Asta Network is the definitely leading layer one blockchain in Japan. And yeah, uh, our company is selected one of the 100 uh, promising Japanese startup in 2023. Not only in the Web3 web space, but also entire you know, startup ecosystem. So this is very you know, excited. Um, and this is the, my first announcement, and we are going to create Startail Labs. So this is, this is going to be a huge announcement next year, but this is kind of like a soft announcement. Um, Startail Lab is the company for Asta Network. And the, let's say in the Ethereum ecosystem, there is Ethereum Foundation and Consensus. In the Polkadot ecosystem, there, uh, there are Web3 Foundation and the Parity Technologies. And we are going to create Startail Lab, which is like consensus or parity for a star. So by creating Startail Labs, we are going to create infrastructure such as wallet, and we are going to create dApps such as lending, NFT, marketplaces, and so on in WebAssembly environment. And uh, we are going to bring a lot of the big enterprise, Japanese enterprise to a star. So by setting up Startail Lab, it's going to be much easier to work with uh, legendary companies in Japan. Because Asta Foundation is going to be DAO. So it means liquidated in the future. But uh, if we have a company, that make it you know, much easier to work with them. And hiring. So uh, we, we have a roughly 40 people right now. But uh, in 2023 and 2024, we would like to make our company double or triple. So we are looking for talented people. And if you are interested in working with us, feel free to reach out to me and we reach out to the team. Yeah, uh, WebAssembly Bounty. Uh, we are going to, this is also the first announcement. Uh, we are going to collaborate with Parity and the ecosystem. And we are going to push Inc and WebAssembly smart contract together with Parity and also Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, I'm creating a treasury proposal to secure funding for WebAssembly developments. And this is going to be roughly uh, around 5 million budget. So by using this budget, we are going to push WebAssembly implementation in the Polkadot ecosystem. And we, we will be recognized as the leading smart contract chain in the Polkadot ecosystem. And in the Asta network ecosystem, we would like to support teams building WebAssembly smart contract templates. 
And the goal of, goal of Asta Network by Quota 2 is to become the smart contract hub on Polkadot. If we could support WebAssembly smart contract, and if we could support Ethereum virtual machine smart contract, I think we can make it. And right now, people are comparing Asta with Akara or comparing Asta with Moonbeam. But uh, by the end of 2023, we would like to be compared with Nia or compared with other emerging layer one blockchain. So Polkadot ecosystem is the first step for us. But uh, we are going to, you know, use Polkadot ecosystem, but uh, we will be recognized as the emerging chain in 2023. Cool. Uh, so Ramsey is going to talk about new web page and our milestones. Thank you, Sota. Yep. I'll share my screen as well. So as Sota san said, we have a lot of emerging companies and enterprises, some legendary. I think maybe a lot of you can make a connection with what Japan means and the industries that are there. So with this kind of new outlook and connections that we're making, we also have to level up many of our other features. So we're introducing a new website and a star map. So I'll explain a bit about the website first and the star map, and then I'll show you the website itself. This new website will take a new professional, bold new look. Okay, it's ready for the next phase of Astar. So when we're competing with these other layer one companies and blockchains that exist out there like Near and Cosmos, uh, sorry, and other layer ones on Cosmos, we now will have a more competitive edge with a new website. So this is all preparing us for a great 2023 year. And again, sometimes first impressions is the only impression that you might have. So being look, looking good at the, the first get-go is important. The website is tailored to four major parts of our ecosystem. So our developer page, our community page, our star map, which we'll feature today, and also our Astar Japan Lab. So these pages are dedicated for each of these sectors. Um, developers will be able to find all the tooling, all the docs, and all the other links that may be needed to start building on Astar or connecting to it as well. Our community, we're going to shine a light on all of our community members and shout out to everyone out here right now and many of you OGs who are here. This is a great milestone for us as we have all grown and seen what the website was. Now we're ready for the new website. So we're also going to feature the star map, which is our version of a roadmap and the Astar Japan Lab, where you'll see many of the dedicated channels and links for those cooperating companies and teams. So look forward to that. So our star map, this is again, our unique take on a roadmap. So Astar is not just innovating uh, with the technology it's building, it's also innovating in the classical things that already exist in crypto and blockchain that we're used to. So we're used to a roadmap, now we're gonna turn it on its edge. We're actually gonna go up in the sky and make it a star map. So our star map will be able, you'll be able to follow our updates and all the features that we're incorporating in real time. So here's a little preview of it. We're gonna walk through it briefly. Um, it's gonna be divided in four quarters. And this is a more interactive way to keeping our user base you know, up to date with what's happening and how close we are to a new update. Also, we added an element of surprise um, and I'll explain that in a moment. So basically on this star map, you'll be seeing all the, the updates and feature throughout the whole year. You have a little ass starship that indicates how close we are to a new update. You'll see some of these bright stars. Those are gonna be significant because that's going to be an update or feature that we're approaching. We call those discoveries, okay? And then each quarter, 
as you have already sort of seen, is represented by a nebula. And they all have a unique name. So it's thematic in the sense that the features that are being shown and discovered are thematic to the name of the nebula. And our first nebula is called the Reborn Nebula. So we're reborn, you know, a rebirth of the whole Astar ecosystem, a new take, because we are at a new level in our life. As Sota said, we're only one year old. Now we're moving on to year two. So each nebula will contain a variety of updates and features that will make our network stronger. So we're going to also show briefly what features and updates and discoveries will be made in this blurb. So you can read on. The update is subject to change, of course. We might add or change some things. So check in every once in a while to see where the rocket ship is, the Astar ship, and what updates we've discovered. So let me show you a preview yep. of the website. Uh, and also, this is what I would like to cover briefly. Uh, could you go back again a little bit? Sorry, there we go. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, this is what I'm going to cover a little bit. So we are going to support WebAssembly, which is super, super important uh, update for us to make a huge difference, not only in a Polkadot ecosystem, but also in an entire blockchain ecosystem. And uh, next page. And we're going to support WebAssembly. And you can consider this as a start 2.0. So this is coming into uh, in quarter one, 2023. It's not 22, 23. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Rams. And, and we can go to a uh, yeah, web page. Perfect. One moment, please. So our web page we're we're super proud about as well. It's gonna be the entryway to many of the companies. Uh, it's the first thing many new companies will see as well. So in a sense, you could all visit it at astar.network, same domain name. Feel free to scroll around. We'll be updating this consistently. And I'll jump right to the star map as well. So a fresh bold take for the new year. And here's our star map where you'll be able to click on each star to see what discovery is about to be made. Some of these discoveries are going to be large innovations as well, as they are large undertakings right now for the team. So bear with us and have patience as we go and discover all these new updates and feature throughout our roadmap. You'll be able also to learn more once we discover it by clicking on these links. So this would be a live living star map with the Astar ship journeying all the way down through the growth nebula, the expansion nebula, and finally the shine nebula. One of the quarters we look forward to around this time next year. So stay tuned for all the updates on there. Feel free to check out the website as well. If you're a developer, jump into the GitHub, the docs, or the Discord to ask any of your questions. And as always, you can launch our portal application right from the top right. So we hope you enjoy it. Yes, and thank you, Rams. I think we have like one slide left now regarding those NFTs that were promised as well. Yes. And so moving on to the slides again. Oops, sorry. When it comes to the website and the, and the star map, we'll be giving out evolving NFTs. And as Soto was referring to earlier on in the slide, we created a uh, remark on ink. So these, as many of you know, sorry, 
node. As many of you know, these types of NFTs are, uh, they could be like NFT 2.0s. So we could have more features and do more things with them, not just artistically, but in, in many other tech savvy ways. So please be uh, ready. Uh, many of you submitted your native address. We'll be airdropping these NFTs to you and more information will be shared in January. Your NFT, as we journey through the nebulous, they would be evolving as we update the network. So you could also check on your NFTs to see if they change while we've updated and added features to Astar. So in a way, it's a dual way of keeping up to date with Astar and everything that's happening. Thank you. Let me get um, everyone to stage. OK, cool. Thanks a lot for your overview about the website. Thanks a lot, Sota, for giving like a very clear focus what we are focusing on in 2023. I think um, I'm very excited about what to come. And I'm sure that there will be much more as well coming as well later on. So check out our Web's new website, check out our Twitter, check out all the announcements that we will have. And then um, later on, we will start giving out more and more. I would say it evolving NFTs and your NFTs will be evolving accordingly of the updates coming as well to Resta. Now we have our Q&A session. Our Q&A session are questions that are asked by our community. If you still have one question, if you go to the right of your screen you see like a little box with a question mark that's the q a section so the moment you press on this you can ask a question below and the moment you ask a question we will answer this now during this q a session i will be moderating and sota and rams and i will be answering most of the, crap, all of the questions let me go with the first one this got um yeah i will i will read it for and then sota you can answer this one um, and I will also add my feedback as well. So, Sota, you promised that Lock Drop 3 will be the most profitable event for occurring a Plasm token. But in fact, the first two Lock Drops were the most profitable. Is it very similar to the deception of the community in the fair distribution of tokens at the start? Can you explain so, what this yeah, is? Yeah, first, first of all, I think Lock Drop is very different way from other projects. So generally, you know, generally other projects never, you know, never do uh, lock drops, right? Lock drop is simply a uh, airdrop, right? And the, um, I don't like that like a profitable or something. Uh, we distributed token for free because we value community, right? Generally, a project lays fund from community, so people pay. And purchase token, but uh, we distributed our tokens through lock drop, meaning we have never raised even one cent from community. So early people can get our token, and the everyone is profitable, right? Yes. That, so in this way, in this way, lock drop is very fair, and we value community. Yes, and it's if also don't like, well, Yes. Sorry, sorry. If you don't like a. Uh, Airdrop just purchase another token. Indeed. Everything was for free. So in case you have like, yeah, basically free money in this case, if you wanted to say it like this. So thank you for your question. Um, the next one, what is Commonwealth Labs and Web Technology doing for US adoption? So we decided to make a strong uh, presence in the US by ourselves because we raised uh, 25 million led by Polychain, Coinbase, uh, and some of the other American companies. So hiring people by ourselves and make our US team bigger is quicker than partnership with, than making a partnership with a Commonwealth Lab. So right now our US team is getting bigger and bigger and we have roughly eight people or seven or eight people in the US time zone. And the team is getting bigger and bigger right now. 
So we are fully distributed company, 10 people in Asia, 15 people in uh, 50 or 16 people in Europe and 10 people in the US, roughly 10 people in the US and Lamsi is in a US time zone. So yeah, what do you think about our US adoption Lamsi? I think it's going smoothly. Uh, we're consistently onboarding new US members in different time zones as well. And that gives us a, a greater reach as well as allows us to attend more conferences as some of our um, biz devs have been able to attend and will be attending more. So representation in these big conferences is important and people hiring talented, knowledgeable and experienced people like we have been and Sota and the team has been is important because they represent and can communicate and connect faster. And that all helps us in general and it's helping us in the US, um, especially with the metrics here. Yeah, and the, I think, you know, entering the U.S. is really difficult if we don't have, like, you know, sufficient tracking records. So that's why I'm really focusing on the Japanese market right now. And I, I, I'm in Japan right now and speaking with a really big company here and like a global brand. So by bringing, by, you know, inviting them to the Asta Network ecosystem, that makes much easier for us to enter the U.S. market because we do have a tracking records with global companies. Um, yeah, so to make long story short, we are focusing on enterprise partnership and we would like to be recognized as the, you know, like Polygon in India is going to be Asta in Japan. So this is the very easy analogy. In, in 2023, um, ideally quarter one and quarter two, uh, I can deliver something big. And the, after that, we're gonna end, we're gonna focus more on the US. Thank you. Another question. Um, let me and let me give this on to Rams. Um, will there be more marketing? activities in the future, the Astar community needs more popularity. <laughs> uh, yes, the answer is an obvious yes. And the reason is it can be bringing, bringing it back to what Sato was saying, because we're linking up with big companies, we're not going to announce any today, obviously, but so this at one or two months, you'll be hearing a lot more. We need to market these sort of events and these partnerships and these agreements. NTT Docomo was one of the biggest ones, as you know, the fourth largest company in Japan. Um, expect that kind of level of announcement with the marketing that comes with it. Um, so it's natural for us to uh, use this strategy of you know being the biggest blockchain and the go-to blockchain in Japan and then expand. Um, using that strategy and then marketing around that is necessary and it's going to happen so yes please, please expect more marketing hence we're leveling up every everything we have here uh, for this incoming wave that already has begun so yes thank you okay and next one do you have any plans for making more use cases for start token on evm chain something like liquid staking or even dab staking um i think let me answer Maybe this question Martin. Yeah. Yes, I think regarding use cases for the SR token on EVM chain, I think that's the most um, alive environment at the moment. So I would say, of course, there's a lot of use cases going on. We do have a liquid staking as well. If you haven't heard about Algem, please go and check out Algem. They are doing great things. They will soon release as well a very cool NFT project. So keep following them. And regarding DAP staking, it's currently possible to do through Algem Depth seeking with your EVM uh, wallet. So please check out that radar as well if you want to know more about upcoming um, projects launching on our EVM. Then we go to the next one. Which parachain will you reach with XCM? Okay, so let me also answer this one. So regarding XCM, like Sota mentioned in our focus area for 2023, one of them is XCM. XCM we want to make sure that XCM is used as it should be, meaning that it needs to bring value to our ecosystem. We do not just open up channel to open up a channel. We also want to open up a channel with another parachain that offers 
a unique proof of concept or offer a use case that we can do with them together. So if you, we will soon release as well the auto, the auto staking with a Turing, with Oak Network, meaning that a user can subscribe to Oak Network and then do auto claiming for the depth staking rewards. We are currently as well um, working very closely with Follow Network for the FAT contract. Soon as well, will we have a proof of concept um, going out there as well, as well with Crust. Everything is um, as well almost ready to go live. We are now as well talking with Manta, who are doing the pro uh, recently launched their uh, privacy parachain as well. So, and as well, we have open channel Moonbeam talking with projects on Moonbeam to utilize our ecosystem as well. So, which parachains? We will focus on those that can bring value to our ecosystem and we will open up those and um, add them to our network. Next one. Um, something for you, Sota. A star network development in Japan and US is growing nicely. Do you have a specific plan for Europe too, especially with Mika regulations coming in the future? <laughs> That's a very nice that, question, like... I think. <laughs> It depends on Martin. <laughs> we have a huge team here in Europe and we go to as many events as possible. We do like local events as well in Europe. So yes, Europe is something that we yeah. highly put in our, but, in uh, our I, as well. Yeah, I think uh, focus is really important. So right now I'm focusing on Japan and the luckily Japan is the uh, third largest country country in the world and the Web3 is getting bigger and bigger here. The government made Web3 as a national strategy and I'm also speaking with the government right now. Uh, last week I talked with the, the Minister of Economics and uh, uh, next month I'm going to speak with the Minister of the Finance of the Japanese government. So I'm going to push the, the Web3 in Japan and the big company are really interested in uh, Web3 um, I wish I could announce some of the big name here, but, uh, it's under the NDA. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Expect. Yes. Something. And regarding, Mika and regarding Mika, Mika, yeah, we are all in on the regulation as well for crypto industry and everything that can help blockchain industry, crypto industry regarding regulation. We are all, um, yeah. We are behind this. So if this, we all, that's why we are as well, very great in Japan, because we are fully regulated. We are completely, um, set there. We have our papers as well, ready for the U S or are ready. So regarding regulation, we put high enough values. And, um, I agree that this um, is very important as well to scale blockchain in general. Okay. Um, Another question for you. So I see it's the same guy, um, GS Fishing. Thanks for um, sending all those questions. How will the US treat the start token now that DOT is considered software, not security? I feel since SR did not have any ICO, we can consider as yeah. commodity, not security. Uh, thank you very much for the question. And the, I think Polkadot token, DOT token is not considered as security. So I think Asta has higher chance to be considered a uh, non-security, but uh, this is something the US government is going to decide. And the, I, we have never done ICO and we have never raised even one cent from the community. So the only financial investor for us is a uh, institutional investor. So. I think, you know, we are the better position than other cryptocurrencies. And also in, in Japan, we are always already recognized, you know, declared the cryptocurrency, not security officially by the government. So I think this helps us too, us that too, I guess. Okay. Thank you. And next one, what are the advantages of deploying a WASM program on an Astar chain? Will the cost be lower because we won't need AWS? Will the code be very variable? And will it be able to carry NFT images? Anyone here wants to go for it? Otherwise I will. 
Yeah, uh, you can. Okay, the advantages of deploying a WASM program. So in this case, you are talking about a software, not about smart contracts. Um, so if you are talking about WASM smart contracts, deploying on us makes total sense because we um, support all the toolings. We have the toolings available. We even have um, smart contract verification ready the moment Inc. 4.0 is coming out, like we had in the box before in the uh, focus area for 2023. Inc. 4.0 is one of the major changes that will come in the quarter one next year. And this will give um, a lot of extra features to the Inc. smart contracts we got as well regarding um, verifying smart contracts. In your case, you're talking about WASM software or programs itself, not related to um, blockchain in this general. So um, I think um, I'm not sure if I can answer that question correctly in this case. Thank you. And next one for you, Sota, when on-chain governance will be open for community? Uh, we are we are we are doing experiments on Shiden right now. So once we have done sufficient experiments, I think we are ready to open the on-chain governance on our star. But uh, we are taking progressive uh, decentralization approach. So if we make one hundred percent decentralized on-chain governance right now, I think our ecosystem will be slowed down. So it is very important for us to decide when to implement on-chain governance. Yes. And follow our star map. Maybe it is somewhere in one of the stars in the next year. So follow that. Then another question. Do you happen to plan to jump out of the Polkadot ecosystem at one point? Hmm. Um, of course not, because the, we are using the foundation of uh, a substrate framework on Polkadot. Jumping out will lose everything that we are currently building. So having to plan to jump out, absolutely not. So we will stay here together with Polkadot. Um, um, what's the difference between being employed by the Astro DAO and the Star Tail or the Star Tail Labs? You're muted, Sota. Yeah, okay. I can answer the question. So this is the, the being employed by Asta for DAO in Star. Yeah, not not Star Tail, Star Tail. Star and Tail. Star's story. Um yeah, uh Asta Foundation is non profit organization for common goods, right? So we are implementing um basic function. Under the under the you know open source license, and we are going to foundation is going to become DAO, right? So the foundation will be liquidated. Uh, I mean closed in year, let's say in five years or something like that. And you know if we close our entity, a big company cannot have a partnership with Asta Foundation, because Asta Foundation will be closed in the future. So that's why we are gonna make Star Aid Lab. And Star Aid Lab is going to have a partnership with big companies, not only in Japan, but also in the US. Um, and also, um, I think to bootstrap our ecosystem, we have to push, we have to push our ecosystem by ourselves. So we are going to create, let's say, dApps, Maybe you know lending, maybe an NFT marketplace, you maybe uh, some of the DeFi use cases. In the you know we're gonna make blue chip project by Starte Lab. So this is also the purpose of the Starte entity. Okay, thank you. Um, another one. I think you are the only one that can answer this one, Sota. How will things improve with the establishment of key three? Oh yeah, uh, Hakodo is the second largest advertisement agency company in Japan, and which is the one of the biggest company in Japan as well. And the, we created a joint venture together with Hakodo, uh, actually between Hakodo and me. So Hakodo, their client client is, you know, um, I mean 
almost 100% of the big company in Japan is Hakodo's client. <laughs> they have a lot of the business pipeline. Um, in the Hakodo K3 is going to organize Hackathon because a lot of the big company would like to do something about Web3, but uh, they don't know how to, how to do that. So Hackathon is the entry point for the big company. So let's say, uh, I, I want to make an you know, example, but uh, I cannot disclose the name <laughs> we are speaking with right now. So, but uh, we are speaking with a yeah, really amazing company. So, yeah, uh, please expect good news from Hakodo Key 3. Okay. Thank you. Um, and let's go to the final, let's say, two questions, and then we can wrap things up. There are still um, questions in the question box. I will answer them later on in te text. Um, so let me just pick um, something out. Oh. Um, there's really a few applications on development on the Shiden network at the expectation of using it as a canary network. Do you have planned to make something out of it? Um, regarding this, I think if you look into it, we already created the Shiden DAO. This is the first step of doing more with Shiden network. Why is this? It's mainly because we want as well to educate developers on using Shiden. If you are building out innovation and you really want feedback from community, a Canary network is the, the best place to start with this. There's a huge teaching community on Kusama. And why not use that community to really test your project and to get feedback from the community? Building it then on Shiden will give you that feedback and will give you the opportunity to start building out a community before thinking about going to like a more mainnet or more uh, stable version as Astar. So see it more as a Canary network where you can really test out and be there for the frontier of innovation, testing everything out, working on it with your community before shipping it out on uh, a mainnet like Astar. So we have high hopes for Shiden, and this is something that we do value a lot in our team. And we have um, people in our team who are focusing on Shiden, like Hoon, Rams, me, and then we also have like Mario as well, who really like Shiden as like a canary network to really test out new innovations. That's this one. And then we go to the um, last question. Let me just check. Um, let me take this one. Oh, that's the wrong window. Okay. Um, as adoption grew exponentially for a star in the future, can a star progress transaction fast enough, or will there be a need of layer two like CQ rollup? Any updates regarding CQ rollup? Anyone want to take this on? Otherwise, I will. Yeah, please. Uh, okay, so yeah, so now we are connected to Polkadot. As you know, Polkadot relay chain is built as being like a shard network meaning that there's already uh, a scalable solution as a parrot chain for us on the relay chain. Is that currently need of a layer two? No, there's currently no need on our network to have a layer two solution available. But as you may see in our Web3 grants as well, we already received a couple of Web3 grants from the foundation regarding offering layer two solutions. And this is still something that we have in our let me say in the basement. So the moment we need it, we go and get it in the basement and we work further on it and we deploy it on Asta. So we have solutions ready, like the research phase is done and we have them ready to roll out when needed. Um, so for now, no need for it, but the moment you feel there is a need, we will and get them and we will uh, use them as well in, uh, in our ecosystem. Thank you. I think we have all the questions now answered there are still a few one less but i will answer them like in the comment section so to end things up i would like to give um sota and rams uh the final closing speech so maybe you rams can say something to close your end yes uh we want to thank everybody in the community we have been growing at an amazing rate um and a lot of the support that you're lending us as well as in being involved with these calls for example, this Crowdcast and the community calls that we have, we thank you. Also, for all the developers and tech-minded folks out there, if you're interested in any aspect of blockchain, please join our Discord. Feel free to tag any of the ambassadors. 
or any directly with Sota, Martin, myself, uh, and ask any questions. There's no dumb questions, um, and we're here to help with any endeavor that you want to jump into. You might just be uh, useful in any kind of way, especially with diverse skills. So let us know what you're interested in. Um, so thanks again, everybody, for joining today. And I'm looking forward to 2023 with lots of big news. And follow our star map so you can stay up to date. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for joining today. I think 2023 is the most important year for us, not only uh, Asta, but also Polkadot. So we're going to do our best. And the, what we would like to do is to be recognized as an emerging chain outside of the Polkadot ecosystem. So we are focusing on uh, Japan and also WebAssembly. Um, our team is getting bigger and bigger, and we would like to hire the best talent in the market. So if you are interested in working with us, feel free to um, contact us. Yep, uh, we are going to make it. Thank you very much. Thank you, and have a great holidays.